<clears throat> Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Lander Squad? Today we're here doing a ranked 1v1. Hold on. Okay, today we're here doing a ranked 1v1. Um, it's Try Hard Thursday, which means that I will be, well, trying. But I'm also, again, I'm going to take a more informative approach on these videos. You know, everyone else already does all the memes a lot better than I can because I'm too competitive to meme uh, effectively, I suppose. So I'm going to be taking a much more informative approach like when I started, which really uh, helped the channel blow up teaching people how to play duel. Um, even if I do not implement them all the time for entertainment purposes, I can tell you what to do correctly. Uh so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. This this hour-long video today, this Try Hard Thursday, is going to be dedicated to helping people get better. Now, what I do want to do is I want... Um, I want people in gold, maybe, or platinum to um, send a game of, of Ranked Duel... Send a game of Ranked Duel and, like, not actually record it and send it to me because I don't expect everyone to be able to record, but take the match ID of the game and send it to me and I will um, pick one and I will watch over it and decide, basically, if um, I want to, like, coach and like use that video for a coaching video basically like watching that pausing it going through spectators saying what i should do um or saying what you should do i i guess not me or what i would do in that scenario whichever i guess comes first um but yeah i just want to like i want to help people learn duel because it's come to my attention and i didn't know this was the case honestly but it's come to my attention that people are terrified of duel. And not everybody, like, a lot of people don't play duel because they think they're, they're too scared to queue up and, and hold the L. And I'm here to tell you, you don't need to be scared about holding the L because it doesn't matter. You play duel, like, the reason I started playing duel was because well the reason i started playing duel was because i didn't want to disappoint people when i played conquest you know i didn't want my teammates to to lose the game because of me and it'd be my fault and that terrified me honestly that scared me i i didn't want people to think that um that i was the reason that they lost the game and that's why I started playing Duel, to kind of hone my skills. And then I realized, you know what? I kind of like this mode, <laughs> you know? And it became me thinking that I was dragging my team down. Uh, to actually, my team is dragging me down. And that's why I stayed in Duel, because I don't have to rely on anyone. I can just be myself and, and play my game. And I know how I play, so I can adjust accordingly to you know different situations and it, it really does help you become a better player quite quickly and because of that because i believe that duel can make you a better player and i believe that people aren't playing it because they're terrified um i want to get people to play it It's a pretty easy game. I mean, there's there hasn't really been much I can say. I've just been talking the whole the whole time. But as you know, like I've been saying, I really just want to open up the dual community to everyone. I don't want it to feel like elitist. Uh, like you have to be some kind of mechanical god to queue up for dual. You know, all types of players play dual. And it will hone your mechanics better than any other game mode in the game. I promise. That's one thing I can guarantee. My mechanical skill 
is that of a pro player's in Conquest. Because while I haven't done... Um, you know, while I don't know the rotations as well as they do, I can outbox anyone. You know, I, I know how to play. So, if you do that also, and you you hone those skills, you can find yourself to be a much more confident player. Which in turn can mean like quite literally everything. Not only will you be more confident as a player, but you'll like... You won't look at ranked as some kind of scary graveyard, you know? It'll be, okay, these are people of my skill level where we can have fun. And, um, and I can build friendships with other competitive people that, you know, might be lifelong friendships. You never know. I mean, things can get crazy. Things can get crazy. All I know is that I want to help you guys start playing ranked and not be scared of it. Now, obviously, um, this game... It's not very competitive. I picked my highest win rate god right now. Believe it or not. Well, I feel like... Oh, he's so fast. So, all of that being said, grab a bowl of cereal, a cup of coffee, you know, grab your sub on your lunch break at work. Just grab whatever food or thing that you might watch during videos. For me, it, it's food. When I watch YouTube, I, I'm normally eating lunch. So, um, or I'm in bed, one or the other. Or I'm eating in bed. You know, <laughs> you never, you never really know with me. It could be any kind of situation. But regardless, grab whatever makes you happy while you watch YouTube videos and sit back and relax because this is going to be a long video. And after this game, we're going to start getting technical about the game, so you guys can all be, um, you can learn something hopefully from the video. I don't think that I'm the best teacher, but hopefully I can. Uh, I can somewhat show how to play. So, by the way, I, I don't know. I'll, there's a lot of people who don't understand this yet, but you should never buy power boots. Attack speed boots are crazy. They got buffed and now they're OP as hell. Um, so, if you just want, like, a lot of people ask me, they come into my stream. Or on my comments on my YouTube video and they say they say Sam what are some tips you can give me to help me improve in duel brother I can't give you general tips there's there's really no general tip I can give you other than like literally teaching you about why things are better you know like some few general tips I can give you if you can and you're fighting a mage, buy Runic Shield. That item is super strong and literally always good. If you are playing a physical god, that will one, that means you can buy Runic Shield, and two, that means you can buy attack speed boots. You should never build power boots because power boots are much less uh, good than, than attack speed boots are right now. So those are just two general tips I can give you that I think Hold true. Almost always. Well, that didn't seem weird. Or, that did seem weird. He hit me like... Oh. I suck. I forgot that I suck.
All right. I could hit the tower here, but I don't really need... Like, I think I'm in a really good uh, place right now to where I don't need to end the game super quick. So instead, what I'm going to do... Actually, I wonder if beads would have been better than thorns. So here's my thinking. Thorns, if he full combos me, I just pop thorns and he does half of his own HP, right? Which is pretty good. That's definitely not bad. <laughs> but, um... I'm thinking, if I had beads... I could just out damage him while like I could out damage him and not be CC'd which would be pretty strong. And so you might be looking at my build and be like Sam you have no power what are you doing idiot? Well if you look at my skills at the bottom you'll see that I'm maxing my 2 instead of my 1 and that's because my 2 gives me a shit ton of physical power. In fact uh, it gives me 65 so basically the game plan is build a bunch of attack speed with no power and max your two so that you gain basically default power. Okay. Thought I was going to dive him, which would have been it would have been a good play because I have been diving him this entire game. I thought my minions were in here. Big rip. Are these up? No, it didn't clear from the map, so I thought they might have been up. <clears throat> Alright. So, I have full runes. Use my two. That extra 80 power now, because I have it maxed. Help me lifesteal up. Alright, full HP... Feeling good, feeling good. I can kill. He has no ult. Okay. Good, good, good. He had no ult, and he already beads when I ulted him previously, so I knew that he had no ult or any beads. I do not think I can get this, but I have 143 power and 2.0 attack speed, so I'm going to try. Oh, I can. Okay. Oh, bummer, bummer, bummer. Big bummer Ruski right there. I wonder, I think I hit a minion twice. Let me look. Oh, I don't, it doesn't really tell me. It just says, I hit the Phoenix. I hit a minion four times. I hit the Phoenix 20 times. I hit the tower three times and I hit a minion four times. So a minion actually ate four of my autos, which which would have easily got me the Phoenix. A little unfortunate. I wasn't really paying attention. Which is my own mistake. I do that quite a bit though, if I'm honest. Hmm. So I have Aussie, I don't need to use my two. I want to just save my mana. So here's the game plan. When minions are coming into the tower... Okay, that was literally perfect. So... So the game plan was, whenever minions start going into the tower... I jump on him with the stun, and then I pull him away from the minions, deeper into the phoenix. So that means, yes, I'll be tanking the phoenix, but it also means that I'll have minion debuff. Because, um... I mean, I don't really... There's no reason for me to pop thorns here. I think with how far ahead I am, beads would have been the better play for sure. Alright, that's not going to stun. It's going to punch that while I have my, uh, my two up. Alright. Pretty good, pretty good. 
So with Aussie and my two up, I'm, I'm healing a whole lot. 117 in auto. Without Aussie proc. That's just with the item. Pretty good. I do wish this game was a little bit more competitive. But uh, it'll have to do. It's alright. I'm going to go Ichabal because he, in order for his abilities to stun, <sighs> sorry, in order for his abilities to stun, he needs to be able to auto attack, right? Eight auto attacks equals one stun. If I lower his attack speed to like 0.3, he's never going to be able to stun me. I got fire minions up, so I'm just I'm just waiting around this corner, seeing if I can yaga eat him. So I'm gonna spooky way. Uh, well, you know I can't really be that mad actually. He's gonna alt this here, which I'm okay with. Alright, so he's gonna be doing some numbies to me, but I got my Aussie heal and my two up, so. Ooh. I wanna keep pressure right now, cause. His Phoenix comes up soon. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. I messed up. I, I, so what a good player would have done, or what I should have done, was while this was coming up, I should have ran here into Bull Demon, and I should have life stealed up using my Aussie and my two, which would have given me, I don't know, probably 80% health, which obviously I could have just gone and, and taken the fucking Phoenix after that. My mistake was that I thought I could outplay him. Like, I, in my head, I was like, okay, this guy's not good enough. I just jump his one and I kill him, right? But what I've learned that I sometimes do not apply in case in point in this game is you should never underestimate your opponent. You should never count on a misplay in order to make a play. And that's, that's what I do a lot, which is why I still... Uh, Make quite a few mistakes. Alright, I got Aussie here, so... I got my Aussie proc in my, uh... Oh. Alright, not bad. There we go. So, if I actually, like, take a step back... And play like how I'm supposed to... This game becomes trivial, but I, uh, like I said, I kind of played on autopilot and it did make me hold a couple of L's. Alright, there we go. There we go. GG, Sir Dante Ma. GG, friend. Um, I do have an undefeated Fenrir right now. I don't know why. <laughs> I leave Hebo open a lot, and then I just I just pick him. Oh, I pick Fenrir, not Hebo, obviously, because Fenrir beats Hebo pretty hard. So GG. Um, let's see what my where's Fenrir? Here he is. Okay, so I'm sixteen and zero. Once that game counts. With Fenrir, which still isn't isn't bad. I mean, it's not number one. This guy plays a lot more Fenrir than I do, but I I only pick Fenrir when I leave Hebo open. That's it. Um, but oddly enough, I like never fight a Hebo. This is the only Hebo I fought. <laughs> this is a five minute surrender. But other than that, it's like I fought a Set, fought a Bakasura. 
fought in Izanami, fought it on <laughs> like fought another Cupid. Like I at AFC, I'd never fight Hebos, but I leave Hebo open every game. Like every game that I pick Fenrir, look, you can see the bands. Hebo is open every game I pick Fenrir. But everyone knows that, that Fenrir counters Hebo, so they're like, oh well Fenrir is open. Better not play Hebo. But, you know. I don't know. I want some good I want some good games. Some good games. With good old Fenrar. Um now of course while we're in queue, let me let me bring up my queue game real quick. This one. Um and let me can I make it not full screen? I do not think I can make it not full screen. Well, I can do this for you guys. Here we go. Play a little bit of balloons, man. Just play a little bit of balloons while we wait. 120 monkey money. Yeah, I've I've logged on for quite a few days. Do the daily challenge. Oh, if you guys want to see my balloons, I uh, I play quite a bit, as you can see. I'm working on this. This map came out. I'm working on getting the black border. Do not berate me. It's in progress. And these, I had to put on hold because this map came out. Uh, this map came out, and I had to black border that one. And this map. These, both of these came out. So do not berate me. I was in the process of getting all of these black bordered. See, as you can see. And then I, I started doing this map when this came out, but I stopped because I was going to go back and do the other ones because I want my pages filled, man. But I, yeah, I got, I play a lot of balloons. <laughs> like I, uh, I have, what, I'm level 135. I have pretty much every monkey knowledge except uh, four of the five that they added recently. I'm missing one support, one military, one primary, one hero. What is a hero one? Oh, that's really good. I'm about to level. I'll probably put that one in that one. My next point in this. That's pretty strong. Okay. Anyways. <sighs> Back to smite. Gotta ban Heimdall. I hate that god. Too strong. Too strong. I need to... By the way, I was playing Persephone. Because I need to master her. And I gotta be honest with you. I have no flippin' idea how to play her. <laughs> like, I just put my plants down and hop around. And hope to goodness gracious that they die. And if they don't, eh, you know... So be it. Look, if I ban Hebo, or if I ban Fenrir, he'll ban Hebo. Big brain. If I ban the counter to Hebo, he knows I'm playing Hebo, so he bans Hebo. The whole reason I ban Fenrir um, is because I didn't want to play him a second game in a row, but I didn't want him to pick. I didn't want him to pick Hebo either. So uh, we can play some Kamazots. Kamazots is super busted right now, so. I could also play some Odin. It's been quite a while since I played Odin, so I could I could make some good old mistakey misplays, but uh, I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best, uh, and more importantly, I'm gonna be talking through everything that I'm doing. Uh, I do like his bands a lot, though. On her Hoi Poseidon Hell. Hebo, I do think a better band than Poseidon would be Kamazots, though. But other than that, I think his bands are pretty great. Um, it does leave up Set and Bakasura open, but with as many... there's How many gods are there right now? I don't know. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. But the last row, so thirteen. What the fuck is thirteen times eight? There's a hundred and seven gods in the game. It's a lot of gods. There's a hundred and seven gods in this game. That's crazy. That's crazy to think about. I'm gonna get beads. Uh, the reason I'm gonna get beads is because he is gonna want to. When I alt, he's gonna want to alt me and keep me, you know, locked in the cage. I guess like the whole. Um, I'm not in a cage with you. You're in a cage with me. And then I, you know, you go super saiyan and fucking kill him. I don't want him to do that to me. So, <laughs> so I got beats. All right, so you'll see there, I, um, I used my two, but I auto attacked before I jumped. And that's because you get 25% bonus damage on your bird bomb if you don't take damage um if, if your shield doesn't take any damage you do an extra 25 percent i think yeah it deals additional bonus damage oh 15 percent sorry not 25 it's 15 percent okay um but the whole reason that i auto attacked and then jumped was because i wanted to do I wanted to do as much damage in as little amount of time as possible. I'm waiting for him, by the way. Uh, I wanted to do as much damage in as little amount of time as possible. So I auto-attacked and jumped immediately before they had a chance to hit me back. So I could still do that 15% bonus damage, but also get an auto-attack in uh, beforehand. So I didn't do that on the blue buff because blue buff attacks a lot faster than speed buff. I don't know why, but it does. Um, it doesn't like the attack speed is not faster, but the initial like the initial attack hits you faster. <laughs> Maybe it's because they have longer range. Like their character models have longer range than the other ones. So I don't know. <laughs> I hope he comes back. This would be a good game. I've never fought a Persephone in duel besides Paul, but that doesn't count because he's Paul. You know. <laughs> All right, well, he didn't come back, which is unfortunate, but I'm not going to sacrifice the educational purposes of this video. So basically, a lot of people are curious about how to start in Duel now. In my opinion, if you have even somewhat good, like anything considering good or borderline good buff clear, you should go to speed buff because speed buff is weaker and then go to your blue buff right here. And then get the wave, which more than likely will be under your tower because they'll only get one buff. Get the wave under your tower and then get these. And like These XP camps, I'll actually show you. So you'll see each one of those is 40 XP. Which I believe, I'm not certain, but I think is actually more XP than these over here. Oh, no, they're exactly the same. Okay, well, this one's contestable. So if I were you, I would go exactly like this. Speed, blue, wave. And then here to here. And that way you get your entire farm. Um, you're level 5 by the second wave. Instead of the third. So... You can do uh, you can do quite a bit with that start. <laughs> I'm gonna just sell this because he's not coming back. All right, let's uh, open up some balloons again. I guess. <laughs> I wish I could make balloons not full screen though. Manage. 
Uh, let's go to properties. No, I don't know if I can. Whatever, play again. How long is the queue? I got 17 MMR for that? What the hell? Who is he? Janium. Smite.guru. Janium. Let's see. Uh, season 7. Ranked. A duel. That was his 10th game. That was actually his 10th game. I feel a little bad. He has 2200 MMR. I got 17 MMR from somebody with 2200. Damn, most of the people I fight probably have like 1500 then. That's crazy. Because I, I normally only get like 1 to 2 MMR. It's unfortunate. That probably would have been a good game then. I see I see on his profile here he plays a lot of Persephone, so. He knows his way around her. He's got uh he's got seven wins and two losses with her. So Whatever. maybe next time, maybe next time. Or maybe I'll hit him up after the video and be like, hey, you wanna run that matchup back? Because I do want to see him play. Persephone. That being said, I'm gonna play Odin again because I didn't really get to show off Odin. Or my thoughts about Odin. Or, you know, I didn't get to show off the start that I wanted to either. So let's try it. Aid comes at a price. I guess I worshiper boost. Favor boost. Battle points boost. I don't know. There's no reason to XP boost. I'm max level. I've been max level for months. Year? A year? A while. I don't know. My chest hurts. I PR'd in, in bench. <sighs> but here's the thing, though. Like, I love bench press, right? Because I'm good at it. Because I have... Oh, my chest, fuck. Ah, I'm good at it because I used to I used to practice it a lot back when I was a bodybuilder in college. Um, people are laughing at me like, dude, you're fat. You're, you weren't a bodybuilder. I actually was. And I studied... <laughs> this is going to be funny because I'm fat. Um, well, I'm not as fat now. Like, I'm more fit now than I was when I was 280, but, um, still 230 is, is quite big, but I have really big legs. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, I was studying fitness in college for a while and I was a bodybuilder back then. All right. So Kamazots beats the shit out of Odin. That's just facts. Like, I wish... Do you now? I wish I was lying, but I'm not lying. He actually just beats the shit out of, out of Odin. So I think maybe this is the play to start with some sort of defense. Fifteen percent bonus damage might be better. No, I don't know. I'm gonna just get one of each. I'm gonna pick up blue buff this this game instead of uh, speed. By the way. Oh, I missed my auto. Pathetic. You do have to do the auto attack uh, thing really fast, though. I picked up speed. You do have to do the auto attack thing really fast in order to actually be successful at it, though. So. I really wish I picked up blue buff here, but that's alright. Mm, it's not enough damage to do anything really to him. Yeah, if I had the blue buff here, it would have been much better. Um, I think I will still hit level 5 off this wave. That 
hit me up. A wizard's hat is more magical than you think. Yeah, I'm quite disappointed that I picked up the speed buff after saying I wanted blue. But... What can you do? Sometimes you catch the stupid, you know? In my case, oftentimes you catch the stupid. I'm just gonna keep on farming though. His early game's nuts. Mine is not nuts, so... I'll fight him here, just because, I don't know, I guess, this will help us it gives me uh, a lead for red buff. I will actually pick up the red buff. Oh, I missed. I have tier 2 defense, so I don't think he can actually kill me here. And he doesn't have jump up, so he does have ult though. Which he will need to use. Alright. So basically what happened was... I saw where he was aiming when he... Uh, I saw where he was aiming when he was going down on that last swoop and I just jumped for it. But there was no way he was going to kill me there because he already used his jump. And uh, the only chance he had to get away from me there... Because his jump is on a really long cooldown at this low level. Because you don't max the jump, right? You max the one or the two. And then you max whichever one you didn't max first. And then you max the jump, right? So his cooldown is really long for his jump. Uh... So I knew that I would be completely safe to kind of go in for the kill there. And the only way he gets away surviving it is, is if he triple ults that way instead of trying to do damage to me. Which would have, by, by the way, absolutely been the better play. He used his jump, so he, he has no way of getting out of here. Yep. Good kill. And, I mean, a lot of these fights are coming down to just cooldown management, you know? Like, I'm using my cooldowns. However, excuse me, my nose is, I'm congested. Um, but I'm using my cooldowns. However, I'm keeping track of his in my head while I'm fighting. So I'm like, okay. I jumped. He jumped my jump, which means his jump is down. He just ulted before. Um, so there's no way his ult is off cooldown, which means he's got no way of escaping my ult, so then I drop ult. Now what that means for me is that he gets no healing, so if he hits me with his 2 while I'm ulting him, it's still really good for me because what does he get from his 2? Nothing. He gets nothing from it. Alright, jump the wall. He's not jumping the wall. Okay, I'm really not scared of you. Uh, he's gonna hit me here, so I'm gonna juke it. Juke it again. He's gonna jump this. Only way out is to ult now. I don't know if that will kill him. Mm, close. And that is a surrender vote. So, basically, we just played that perfectly. We played that exactly how we had to. Um, I hit my abilities, I I made sure in my head that I was keeping track of his, and if he made a mistake like jumping my jump or uh, prematurely jumping my stun, then uh, I, could, I could actually use that to my benefit and really get the kill off that. Um, and yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty much what happened. Nothing really new, nothing really new. I get the adventurer at level 60. What is that? Battle pass. Rewards. Oh, but I don't have the... Oh, wait. Hold on. Yeah, I do. <laughs> hold on. Wait. Give me a second. Gotta check my email, boys. Gotta check my email. 
Uh, where is it? It's in my promotions tab, right? Right here, perfect. <clears throat> no, not buy gems. Other um, account promotional code. Ah, nice. I'm doll skin. Gems, avatars, boosters. Oh, that's a cute frame. An announcer pack the morgan skin that's a cool morgan skin that's sick skin booster pog all right not bad not bad 1v1 me oh my god i got a global emo that says 1v1 me that's so fucking sick <laughs> That's amazing. That's so cool. Where's my GM? GM duel. I want my, my season one master's duel. This is season one. Well, this was season one and two. No, this was season one. Wait, which one was one? No, this. And then this. And then this. And then this. And then this. Oh no, this! This was season no, this was season one, this was season two, this was season three, this was season four and five and six. Probably will be also be season seven. Alright, let's equip that. Um I could put on my GM conquest border, but that's you know, whatever. My title is the popular, huh? Huntsman. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. All right, cool. That's sick, dude. The one v one global emote. That's amazing. My recall. Let's switch it up. Oh, what is this? Chinese Pantheon recall looks kind of sick. Kind of sick with it. A uh, fun fact: if you have a jump stamp, you probably should not use it because if you uh, if you put on a jump stamp and you're jumping around in the map, people can actually see your jump stamp before they can see you. So you're giving away your position if you're using your jump stamp. Which is something only an advanced player would know. But that's what I'm here for, man. Like I said, I'm I'm here to teach you guys. I want to teach. That's what I mean. I think I've done a pretty good job in 43 minutes of teaching you something, you know. Teaching you something. I do want you to say, I want you to comment on this video down below. I want you to comment and say, Sam, this video taught me so-and-so. If it didn't teach you anything, that's okay. Don't need to comment. Dude, watch this video. I have zero fucking comments. <laughs> if it did teach you something, though, I would really love it if you if you commented on what it taught you or what you learned from it. And, um, and let me know what you want to learn. You know, like, you can't say something super generic like, teach me duel. Because, <laughs> because I can't. I, I, I'd have to... Do that individually you know and, and go through all these different things but basically i just want to i just want to help people get into ranked and feel comfortable in their gameplay you know because feeling comfortable in the game is like feeling comfortable in your own skin it's like the more comfortable you feel the better you are and that's you know that's really what i want for people is to feel good feel good um, now, I'm a weird one, because when I play on her, I most people start with their one, I think. One point in the one, and two in the two. However, I'm different because I start with um, two in the two and one in the three, and I will show you exactly why I do that. Because you can clear speed buff without taking any damage, I think. Or at least, like, only one or two hits of damage, which is very strong. Alright, I messed up quite a bit there. 
So I took, uh, I think I took three hits, maybe four hits. But either way, not taking a lot of damage on that buff is really big. I'm so I'm I'm saving my jump right now because I think the Kali might be trying to fight. Turns out he's not, but that's okay. Oh, he doesn't blink, but yeah, it's a little scary. But starting with double buff, uh, Kali's early game is pretty shite, so I get one auto in all of those and then jump in because I don't really care about fighting him. He's trying to hide behind my pillar, but as long as I out-angle him, he, oh, I mean, what's he going to do, you know? That's unlucky. Alright. So basically what I did there was... I knew he had blink because I had already checked, right? You guys saw me press tab, so you already knew that I... I checked for his blink, I saw him have blink. I was ready for it. As soon as he... Uh, right here... My minions followed him that way. As soon as I saw him look back my direction, I knew he was going to blink, okay? So he blinked. I impaled him to the wall, and then he jumped on me. When he jumped on me, it was basically my go-to, like, okay, everything's down. You know, now I fight. Because he has no alt, I have no alt, but I have Bracer and he has blink, which means my fighting potential is much higher than his early game. Like, he's got more mobility, but I have better fighting. Because I, I built my relic for it, you know? And he didn't. Alright, red buff to spawn. I'm, I'm taking his, his little minis over here. He's got no mana, so he cannot contest it. Which is ideal for me. Uh, for those of you who didn't know you could do that, you can you can do that. You can block off pillars or or sorry, you can block off buffs or um, any minions with your pillar. All right, go ahead. He's gonna jump. That was nice. Good play to just like kind of hold the angle. Damn. I was hoping he pushed up just a little bit, but good play, good play. No worries. Grab this and this. One of each pot and get our ass back out there. We're doing pretty good. We got the we got the first blood because you know it was pretty easy the way he was moving. I knew exactly what he was gonna do. That's how you're supposed to clear a speed buff, by the way. You you hit it, and then when it's in the middle of its swing, you jump. That's how it's supposed to work, but I messed up the first time, because I don't play a lot of on her, so I'm just learning him as I go. Your middle tower is under attack. So here's another thing that uh, some people don't do that I think you should. In and duel is different from conquest, right? In the sense that in conquest, he could blink on me right now. Okay. So I up down, he jumps, he alts. Now he jumps. Okay, so um we got alt and relic out. I'm faster. I suck though. Um I am faster than him. I can stop his back with a pillar. Unfortunately, I don't have anything up to kind of do anything with that that stop, but um, but here's what I can tell you: conquest and duel are different. And when you hit a minion in duel, but then the tower hits it, you get no gold. Period. None of it. But in conquest, if you hit a minion and the tower shoots it, you get like. A percentage of the gold i don't know what the percentage but you get some gold and uh that's a pretty big deal because it means you can get a really big gold lead for doing nothing in duel so in order to combat that kind of like i guess i would call it a negative effective duel um when minions are hitting your tower 
and you, I'm sure you guys have seen me do this quite a bit if you watch my videos. I ignore the front line because the front line is going to be targeted first by the tower, and then the archers will be targeted next. Um, and so what I want to do is I want to focus on the archers. Now, when I focus the archers, I want to focus on the ones furthest back because the tower goes, the tower shoots the closest one to it. So in order to get the most gold possible in duel, if you have minions under your tower, you're going to want to hit the archers first and the archers the furthest back are the ones you're going to want to focus on. Just for gold purposes. I'm going to come over here, just farm. So you'll notice I'm level 10, almost 11. And he just cleared my wave and is still not even level 10. So... Suck. Oh, one HP, man. That's all right. I'm okay with that because of the fact that his blue is up, and uh, oh, he does have blink actually. Oh, my jump didn't go off, dude. My jump didn't go off. I really wanted my jump to go off there. I did press it. I don't know. I don't know if you could see me press it because I have a. Uh, I use instant cast, so you can't see the targeter ever. But I stared down at my feet, which I think should show you that I was trying to trying to jump it. Good play by him to not get full heal though. And, uh, and rush back out to tower. I wasn't expecting it, and it put me in a situation where I had to outplay him in order to live. And uh, that's a really good position to put yourself in for him. Like, for me, it's really bad, but for him, that's that's a really good position. You know? If your opponent has to kill you, he has to outplay you. And if you just play smart, then, uh, then he can't, you know? So... But most of this game is going to be me trying to jump his stun. And then somehow win the fight afterwards. <laughs> Alright. I did actually successfully jump. Knock him back. Alright. Very, very strong uh, play there. I knew he wanted the kill, right? So what he was going to do was if he, if, if I was him, right, there's one strong, strong play there. And that's when he jumps, like when the on her jumps, if you're Kali, when the on her jumps, you make sure you know where he's going and you land on that spot. So you kill him, right? Because... Of, uh, the, the way Honor's jump is, it's slow to go up, but fast to come down. So, if you hesitate on jumping Honor's jump, you won't be able to do it. So, because of that, I knew that if I up down, because he was going to be kill hungry, I knew that if I hit him with the up down, that most of the time, unless he's not kill hungry, uh, it kills him. And that's what I did. And it definitely worked. Not up rip. But that was my thought process and why it worked. A monument to my opulence. Okay, I'm gonna just get these. Damn. Doing far. I was scared he had blink. I don't know if he did or not, but I was scared that he did. <laughs> I was gonna go Aussie here, like my item, my itemization was gonna be an Aussie, but he rushed Toxic Blade instead of any amount of defense. So because he's doing that, 
I'm actually going to go uh, Executioner and just pre-build for when he get, does get defense. Or what I could do, which is even better in my opinion, is stop building this item completely until I see when he does go defense. And uh... I just go Ichabal next, because Ichabal is a nutty ass item. Alright, red buff should be up. And I am gonna just go Ichabal here. Like I said, I already have defense, and I'm not too scared of him in the sense of like. He can just outbox me, because I, I don't think he can. As long as I'm playing decently, I don't think he can. So if, I'm going to go Ichabal here, and then after Ichabal, I think Frostbound to lower his attack speed even more. Because believe it or not, Frostbound and Ichabal actually stack. So that'll lower his attack speed quite a bit. He's going defense now, which means he's not going to have any kind of damage spike. And I will, because I'm going Ichabal. I already have my defense. That's a misplay by him. By jumping away if uh if i were him the best play he could do there was actually stun me and fight i do believe he is coming here Well, that is quite unfortunate, isn't it? That's pretty unlucky that he was that like because I ulted it. I was pretty sure I was going to be able to get it with my alt, but he stole it with an auto, which is unlucky and very bad because Kali's late game is really strong. So uh, lucky for me though, his blink is down right now, so maybe I can get his phoenix. So, in my opinion, um, staying there was actually okay because of the fact that, uh, by the way, I'm, he has beads. Okay. Uh, staying there was actually okay because if I died, at least I cleared the wave. All he can get is my tower. Because, you know, he has bold even. Alright, let's get that Ichabal online. And I would go Frostbound here, but I think because I already started... I already started this Executioner. It was going to be an Aussie, but I was just waiting on him to actually get the fence so Executioner could, you know, like, be okay. Alright. So, I don't want to give him anything. I'm ahead... And it's pretty clear that I'm ahead. So my goal is to not do stupid shit. It's just to keep my head level and stay above him. Because I'm already above him. I don't need to do anything special to stay above him. What I have to do is make sure that I don't do anything stupid. That is unfortunate. But you did see there though, the itch of all actually worked quite a bit. On that attack speed, just immediately. Okay. We got his beads there. I, I believe I got his blink before. If I did not, this could be bad here. Okay, well, it doesn't matter anymore because... Alright, and that's game over. Alright. Um, exactly one hour long video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I Again, leave a comment if I did 
uh, teach you anything or, or was informative in this video. If I didn't, then make sure that you tell me what you want to learn. I have really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, until next time, guys, peace.